Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And in the last episode, guys, we are able to secure some much-needed medical supplies for the reservation. Unfortunately, I found out that that mission actually required us to be completely stealthy instead of just instead of just leaving the uh, soldiers alive. So I wasn't aware of that. Hopefully, there won't be any repercussions. I mean, we did leave the soldiers alive. That should give us some sort of brownie points, right? Probably not. But we are on our way to meet up with John. We have a $20 bounty here in New Hanover. That's interesting. Now, where is he? He should be... Oh, okay, he's right here at the station. And I guess we're going to go ahead and utilize those explosives we acquired with Bill and Micah. And maybe we can have a chat with John about what exactly is going on here. Here's hoping, at least. Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. <laughs> Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child. And get lost. Do you? You can... Uh, you could give something to Jack. It's that or... Well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <coughs> I'll be okay. But do it. For me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. That's from the trailer. Now, now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. Now remember, we already talked to Sadie about her helping John and the family get out alive. Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. <laughs> Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the Okay, trunks. hold X down as he pushes the, the bar down. Sure. Let's get ah, okay. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge for Christ's sake. I hear a train in the distance. All right, stop. Here's good. <sighs> he sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there. You lower the crates. All right. Let me know when you're ready. Where are you? Oh, there's a catwalk. Got okay, it. I was about to say, like, um, John? Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. That's the spot. Lower it from there. Easy now. Okay, start lowering it down. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Nearly there. Yeah, let's take our time okay, here. Okay, good. Grab the other one. That could be potentially really bad very quickly. I do love the waterfall. That's a gorgeous view. Okay, let's go. Nice and easy. I'm just waiting for Arthur to extend his hand. 
and that's when I'm pressing the buttons to alternate. Kind of reminds me of uh, Rogue One a little bit. Okay, grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. John knows his stuff. Okay, we just wedge it down. Apparently the wire's already been ran. Well, I trust Don uh, I trust John to be doing this a whole lot more than Bill, considering Bill messing up ages and ages ago <laughs> during that train job when we first got the attention of Leviticus Cornwall. Okay. I should go get the hand cart ready. You okay to finish off down here? Sure. Go on. I can handle the rest. I nothing. Up there. This better work. Yeah. Nothing bad's going to happen. I guess now saying I have a bad feeling about this is going to make anything better. How you doing down there? I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are doing fine. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. Is this the last one? Or do I have to grab one more? Shit. I think I hear something coming, Arthur. Nope, oh, okay. I'm on the way. Things don't go smooth. Train! Arthur, get up here quick! I'm on my way. Okay, return to the hand. Hey, come on! Shit. Arthur! Yep, yep, Train. yep. Come on, quick! Pump this Kay. stupid thing! Hard as you can! Oh, this is gonna be quick! Oh lord. Oh god, we're about to die. <laughs> oh! I panicked. Pump this stupid thing as hard as you can. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Wow. Holy crap. Eh, train is not messing around. Pump this stupid thing as hard as you can. Here, I'm just gonna. Yeah, that's not gonna work either. Just get to the end of the bridge. <laughs> John getting hit with the front of the train is just really funny to me. <laughs> Pump this stupid thing as hard as you can. Okay, I'm not even watching the queue. Let's go, let's go. And that's what happens. Hmm. Pump this stupid thing as hard as you can. There we go. Let's go, let's go. Just get to the end of the bridge and jump. Get ready to jump. It's right on. There we go. Thank you. No problem. That just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's I'm go sad now. This thing up. <laughs> Whew. And we got our pistols, just in case. Anything else bad happens. I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. And... Science! Whoa. 
Well, I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It's all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For, for an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money. For safekeeping. Quote unquote. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. It's a powerful distinction. <laughs> Arthur sees clearly now that his lungs are backed up with blood. Okay. Uh oh. We're about to have another attack. Okay. Go ahead and save the game. I don't know if that necessarily was a lung attack or maybe a panic attack because he's kind of set stuff in motion to. Not necessarily betray Dutch, though I, I'm, I'm sure that Dutch would see it that way. But just basically having the people he cares about leave Dutch's employ. That makes more sense. Hey there, Rosalina. How you doing, girl? I'm gonna get off this track in case another... Okay, well, a train's not coming from that side. Um... Let's go ahead and look at the map, see where... Okay, we're just right here on the bridge, that's something. And the only missions that we have are for Trelawney back at camp, and then Charlotte has something for us too. Our widow friend over at Willard's Rest. And that is a bit of a long ride. But, you know, we gotta get there somehow. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go. A lot of people need to realize how, not a lot of people, but one needs to realize how much of a big decision that is for Arthur. Because we've learned that he's he's been riding with Dutch and Hosea since he was a teenager. And just in a short amount of time to see everything that they've built just completely fall apart around them while... Dutch is basically, everything's fine, nothing to see here, is incredibly jarring. Back. Oh, great. Um, wolves. Hey, easy now. Okay. Are we doing this? Yep, we're doing this.
Sorry, guys. And since I used the shotgun, I'm not even going to bother skinning you. And just as night's about to break. Rain's Falls would be disappointed, but I don't think those wolves were giving us that much of a choice. Have I been to that building? Is that a building? Wait, wait, wait. What is this? It's a hobbit hole. With magic runes. Mysterious hill home. Wonder who lived here, right? Um. Please don't be a bear. Bilbo? Frodo? Sam? Mary? Pippin? Huh. Smurfs? <laughs> Papa Smurf? Well, that's a shame. I was hoping you could go in there. I bet that would look kind of cool. Alright. Well, maybe we'll figure it out later. We've got a long ride ahead of us. Don't need to get too distracted. But now that I know that we're on this road that we have not... of stuff we have not seen... Oh, yes indeed, we are going down an unfamiliar road. What could possibly go wrong? In the middle of the night. Where it looks like we have high ground on either side of us. We are just asking for a bushwhack. Yeah, it's alright. We've got a shotgun. Well, actually, we need to probably go ahead and... Get our repeater out, just in case. Hopefully nothing bad has happened to the Widow. Ooh. Look at that view. I think that's the prison. That direction to the south. Mm hmm Good times. <laughs> Got huge hills and mountains. Now I'm, like, checking the mountains for anyone's face. In case there's any more obsessed carvers out there. Now we still got... I think this is... I think we're still in New Hanover. I don't know if anyone would try and kill us for $20. I know Arthur would, depending on the situation, so... We need to make sure... That, oh, wow. Flowery Meadows. I saw a building... Oh, I see a building. Okay, I see two buildings. We're going to die today. Oh, I missed one. I missed the building. Perch. <laughs> we'll call this the Widow's Road. Hold up. You're right up here, aren't you? I've actually considered um, going to the Hunter and um, getting that bear hat. Remember, we killed that legendary bear and we could, we made a hat out of his head. <laughs> I thought, well, if you can't beat him, join him. <laughs> but Arthur would look ridiculous like that. Please don't fall, Rosalina. You're my buddy. And I've got my rifle. Okay. Someone's here. Potentially. I see a lot of candles, which is... Not necessarily a good thing. 
Oh god, this is a witch's hut. Ooh, assorted salted offal. Herbivore bait. Watch, all this stuff is going to be cursed. We're going to end up dead. Hair tonic. Kentucky bourbon. I'm sitting there just staring. Got tons of animal carcasses. Drink mysterious liquid. Really? Dare we? We can't do the whole Blair Witch thing. Oh, there was someone in chains here. Eh, why not? What could go wrong? And it was nice knowing you guys. Where are we? Okay, we're still here at Witch's Cauldron. Um... Can we just keep on drinking the mysterious liquid? Snake oil? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. I'm not sure what that did to us, but maybe we'll figure it out a little bit later. Hey, Ros there, Rosalina's like, you idiot. Yep. <laughs> Didn't I tell you about drinking things from mysterious cauldrons? And... But we're not done yet. We got two more <laughs> buildings to explore here on the road. Maybe they're all interconnected. It's kind of like Middle Earth on the road. We got the Hobbit house. We got the witch's hut. And dogs. Oh, that's a lot of dogs. Has that made us a wolf? A wolf attractant? <laughs> That would be bad. Oh, imagine if it would do something like attract the night folk to us. Ugh. All right, here's another dwelling. This this is nice in the middle of a flowery meadow. There we go. And there are weapons here. What's going on? Drop Showfield Revolver for Cattleman Revolver? No, I don't think so. Another Cattleman Revolver. Ooh, there was a, a deal went bad here. Well, since you guys aren't going to be needing this anymore. Oh, a gold nugget. And a Platinum Pocket Watch. That was worth dealing with a bit of witch's brew. Probably a fight to the death over that gold nugget, I would assume. <laughs> it's mine, Bob. Now nah, it's mine, Earl. Draw. Fair Vale Shanty. Well, nothing particularly fair about it. And then we've got... One more place here, and then we're close to Willard's Rest. Then we'll be in good shape. Yep. But if something bad has happened to Charlotte, I think Arthur is going to be much displeased. Because we haven't dealt with, like, bandits or anything with her. Um, the Murphy Brood is still up there in the mountains, and we've helped her hunt and everything, but... Hunting and defending yourself can be two very, very different things, so... You're fine, Rosalina. We're just going to stick on the trail and 
unless they're coming straight at us, we ain't just going to com completely ignore them. Yeah. Oh, it's a watchtower. Interesting. And whoever's chasing us is might determined. Okay, they finally gave up. So what do we... Okay there. What do we got here? Oh, there's a campsite. A fire is a-going. Hello? Anyone here? I've kind of... Oh, there's another fire right over there, though. I've learned that the fires kind of set themselves. Just because you see a fire doesn't necessarily mean that there's civilization nearby. We'll head over there to that fire here in a sec. Let's see... If anyone's home. Knock, knock. Ooh, canned fruit. Well, we'll go ahead and uh, raise the house. Is that a telegraph machine? Yes, it is. This scene, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of like a Minecraft base. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to make a tower. And keep all the essentials. That's what I would do. There's a bed. I don't know. I might take this place as my own. Got a fast travel map. Can't use it, though. Oh, we can't use the telegraph machine. Gun cabinet. Which we can't use. What's up here? A guy with a shotgun. <laughs> Ooh, look at this view. That is awesome. You can't carry any more. Oh, I had a throwing knife. Ginseng elixir. wonder if there's any cards up here. No. Great place to be with the morning starting to break, though. Holy crap. Yeah, this would be an amazing place to be. Ow. Oh, right. Hey, that hurt. Yeah. Sorry, Arthur. <laughs> okay, so can we... I want to run over here. Like, let's have a wonderful kind of tower cabin home thing. And once we get done, we'll just go ahead and set our camp over here. <laughs> so we can admire our handiwork. That makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Where are we going? Oh, okay, that was just another camp that we passed along the way. You know what? Let's just go ahead and ignore it. We need to make sure that uh, Charlotte's okay. Rosalina's trying to make her way down. But... I'm going to get another look at this view. There you are. That's my girl. Alright. Back on track. The loft. Hmm. Well, There's a nice name for it. And actually, this will be good because we'll be able to talk to Charlotte during the day. In case there's any kind of night work. Or shooting that needs to be done. 
then we'll be in good shape. Alright. Now we're back in New Hanover. <laughs> Maybe Charlotte's gonna collect that bounty on us. You know, I'm a single woman living out in the wilderness. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Hopefully she would take us alive. Here's hoping, at least. Going to check one more time. I'm always paranoid about the about bodies. Because the bodies can lead to us taking on the Murphy Brood. We found that letter um, addressed to Bonnie McFarlane. There was the really weird ritualistic killing. So, bodies lead to plot points. Or at least to a little bit of loot. That is Video Games 101. Okay, Water Tower. I'm going to go ahead and say this now. It's been a relatively smooth ride. I haven't been attacked by anything. Well, yeah, actually, we have been attacked by wolves, but, I mean, we haven't been... Um, no attempted bushwhackings or anything like that. And we're in legendary animal territory. I believe this is where the legendary moose hangs its antlers. And the last time I... Yeah, you go ahead. Petey is quite elusive. Considering how many times they captured him instead of... His brother. Okay. Oh, bo 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 bo. Well, nothing's on fire. Wish I could have had a shave before I came. Oh, okay, she's right here. My, my. I was wondering when I was going to see you again. You look different. Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh, no, I didn't mean it. No, I know. Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you did it all yourself. <coughs> so how are you holding up? Uh, I'm still standing, which is an improvement on the last time you saw me. I wish that there was something else that I could do. Ma'am, you have done more than enough. Please, call me Charlotte. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Well, you take care of yourself, Arthur. Aw. Is that just a nice feel-good moment? Well, please, go on in and help yourself to anything you need. What's mine is yours. Woo! Oh. Well, that's very kind. Arthur didn't move his lips there, but... Oh, so now we have complete free run of the house. Premium cigarettes. Do you have any cigarette cards? Not that I'm really doing that mission at all, but... It does give us a chance to go ahead and explore the rest of the house. I bet she's pretty clean... And what I mean, what I mean by that is, I doubt there's any skeletons in her closets, which you can't really say the same for a lot of the other houses here. And oh, okay. I am not taking her jewelry. That is not how I roll. However, things look kind of... There's a lot of broken bottles and... Hmm. I'm expecting her just to turn around with a knife and Norman baits me. She's like, I've learned how to survive, Arthur. 
examine. Oh, look at that. Cal and Charlotte Balfour, February 1893, Chicago. Well, at least she has her memories. And this is where I crashed out. See, all the stuff on the ground is worrying me. I mean, as long as she's surviving and she's happy with her life, that's great. You know, at least the kitchen is... Well, I mean, people's bedrooms can be pretty messy affairs. And you're still here. Oh, she's writing. Well, thank you very much, Charlotte. I hope you'll be happy when you get back and see that I have not taken your jewelry. I don't think I can go into any of the other buildings. I guess the real question is what I want to. Nope. I think we are good. Let's go ahead and check the map. Did anything else suddenly... No, we just got Trelawney back at camp. I was kind of curious what happened to him. So we got a little bit of a ride. And I guess that'll be that. I was actually surprised that um, Arthur let Charlotte kiss him considering his condition. I guess it's just a kiss on the cheek, though. It's not exactly like Arthur, like, coughed in her face. Yep. Like Mr. Downey did. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the... Heck just happened? Did a bird just fly into me and die? Pick up bird. That's exactly what happened. Poor songburn, songbird carcass. <laughs> wow. Okay, my girl. Does that make Arthur the antithesis of a Disney princess? I guess so. A suicidal songbird decided to uh, utilize Arthur for the sweet hereafter. I'm actually kind of curious. This is the edge of the map. We can't go beyond this point. What is... End of the line, huh? Or not necessarily end of the line, but... Okay, that's just the railroad. Terrain you just can't climb up. Playing World of Warcraft, I'm very familiar, before they introduced flying, <laughs> what mountains were used for. You shall not pass! Well, let's go ahead and at least get a little bit ways back to camp. And actually, now that I think about it, I'm fairly curious what Trelawney thinks about all the nonsense going on here. How would he... He may see opportunity... But what is he going to think about Dutch's, I guess, deteriorating mental state? Hmm. Definitely something to think about. Who knows? We may have another ally. They seem to be they seem to be dropping like flies. We've got Sadie on our side. We've got Marston and family on our side. Bill and Javier have side, signed or sided with Dutch. I'll bet you money. Oh, I don't know. If Dutch is helping out the the Indians, Charles. I bet. I bet. You know what? I bet Charles would be on our side too. Yep. No, don't know about the rest of the women folk. Oh, whoa, easy there, Rosalina. Whoa, that's some nice acrobatics, though, easy for sure. Now. I'll tell you what we're going to do. 
I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. When we get back, we'll be close to camp. We'll talk to Trelawney and see where the story goes from here. Hope you all have enjoyed the um, the Widow's Road. And um, hopefully we won't have any more any side effects from that cauldron. Because that was pretty stupid. But I'm, you know, curiosity killed the wretch. But if you all like the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.